did you come up with your particular brand of weirdo LA douchebag? Like, is there a certain model that you kind of took your character after? Well, I not to have a sound like it's a, a getaway answer, but the the script was really great, and it's a specific guy, like the way he was written. And um, Mark Duplass last night at our Q and A said reference the line. Um, we have a seriously. Uh, what is the exact? Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but there's a seriously delicious situation, situation. going <laughs> on here. And the kind of guy who would say delicious, you know, delicious, uh, delicious situation. Um, that's the kind of you know what I mean. Like there's sure. very specific lines for the character and um, certain adjectives. Sure. Some color, yeah. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. So, um, but you know, you see him around. But I don't. You know, I like to m enjoy. Parody and satire, it's like my, it seems to be like maybe growing up in the 80s and 90s when that was like uh -huh. yeah. just so much of that and that I, my mind goes to that, but at the, but I also like to not do it, like it's a good start, sometimes it's my s a starting place, uh -huh. like I'm a reflex, but it's also good to like, you know. We love this guy. Yeah. You know, yeah, we're not making fun of Silver Lake Dad. Exactly. You're not taking total swipes at no. him. Because at, at first, it's sort of like, mm. we're used to snark. Um, yeah. We're used to irony. But you get sincerely, like, kind of attached to yeah. Yeah. everybody in and it. And this guy is sort of a, pr it's, it's a performance yeah. in a little bit. You know, he's trying something new. He's trying, he's trying just as much. Uh, so to kind of address, a, a lot of people are running the headlines right now about um, about the frontal nudity and about uh, uh, what I think that really gets down to, you guys have a whole scene about male body issues, which I feel like, um, you know, it's, it's, it's easy to get caught up in the headline of like, oh, you guys, holla, like I get to see your prosthetic uh, penises, but... Um, was there anything that kind of struck you personally about that, uh, especially in the field that you guys are in as as actors? Did that s did that kind of scene about body issues speak to you? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a it's a real kind of attention grabbing thing that happens in the movie. There is full f double full frontal male nudity. It's really it's a funny scene. It's um, but it I really love what the characters are going through i you know I, my my character is really hung up on the fact that he has a small penis and jason's character really helps him come out of his shell and kind of own it a little bit and it's really i mean it's super funny and ridiculous when it happens in the movie but i love the way jason plays that scene and super really compassionate yeah and super sincere and it w he really helps uh, Alex, my character, out and really helps him sort of come out and feel good about himself and redefine himself. He never expected to ever feel this way about himself and, like, his, his, his body. And, you know, like, he's experienced... He's, there's a whole new world for him at this play date he went to. His whole life is turning around. And it's because this guy was really generous with him um uh so you know his motives for being that generous are kind of slippery but i think i think it all ends up being for the better you know and i mean you really imagine like body issue any issue like if you have something that you're sort of insecure about your whole life you know you start to it, it's, it becomes a part of your, like, personality. Imagine really, like, it kind of going away in one yeah. moment, like, what that yeah, must feel yeah. like. And I really feel like Adam, he's like, I'm expanding. I think about that. I really feel that. It's like someone who's, like, just, like, the lights got turned on or something, yeah. you know? It's, it's great. That When he's in the jacuzzi, it's the greatest. Like, it's the ma masterful work. <laughs> this was very relaxed. It was amazing. It was, yeah. Um, very intense, but and the the intensity of this of the scenery, obviously the intensity of the language. Now I I I think a little bit about uh, I think the line is um, giant horse cock. I think I think uh, as you said, everything was pretty much standard in the script, solid in the script. But do you guys think there's a, uh, a is there a debate going on of what is the funniest word for 
a penis? His, his giant horse cock, was that debated at all, which, uh, which terminology you should run with? No, that was in the script, so we just went with that. Um, I really think unit is funny. Unit is solid. Or joint. <laughs> That's good. I don't. I don't have a lot of. I don't. I haven't thought you don't about have that. A favorite? Uh, just in general, it really just depends, I suppose. I mean, I like unit. When you say unit, yeah, that unit. Makes me happy. It's funny. Manhood. Manhood. <clears throat> that just depends on the context. I used to really like Johnson, but I feel like it's been overused now. Yeah, see, I don't know. That feels That's very like late '80s into '90s, like yeah. the Big Johnson T-shirts. T-shirts, yeah. 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 But it's been played. Big Johnson. Um, I remember those ones. <laughs> Liquor in the front, poker in the back. Yeah, yeah. That was one of I don't, what is this t-shirt? They, they were Flashback. t-shirts that said Big, they were Big Johnson was the name of the clothing t-shirt. t-shirt company. They were Big Johnson, and like everyone wore them. And I just remember my friend in high school had one that said Big Johnson. Liquor in the front, poker in the back. But it was a casino. It was like Big Johnson Casino. <laughs> Big Johnson Casino. Liquor in the front, poker in the back. Good oh, God. Why did we wear the, how did this I didn't how wear did one. This pass is, oh, I didn't wear one. I wore just TNC Surf. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. I didn't want no big jobs. So hell no. Um, uh, it, uh, I was all about, cross colors. Um, talk about kind of the, the the lady cast. You guys had to you ha- you guys had to get very intimate very quickly for this film. Um, talk about working with your actresses and and you know what was your how would you re- describe your working relationship before and did that change after something so intimate as this? Well, we were really lucky to get Taylor Schilling um, for her first movie after Orange is the New Black came out. We we're super excited to have her, and she she was just excellent and so fun and, to work with and so game. It was a smaller movie, so there wasn't a lot of luxurious accoutrement. It was pretty bare bones, and she was so terrific. Um and so good in the movie, so good. Uh, but uh, yeah, it was great. I mean, everybody's a pro. Everybody just kind of jumped in and, and did it. There was kind of immediate, everybody was immediately pretty comfortable with each other, excuse me. Do you feel like in a weird way, if it was, because it was like so, like we were naked and then we were swimming, that was almost easier than doing like uh, yeah. sex scenes like sprinkled throughout a movie where it's more like, you know, sexy or a shower scene or something. Like, because it was so um, extreme, it was great. Like, I was like, I was, we were, we didn't, we just stayed in the pool with our prosthetic. It was wonderful. Like, it was, I think it was like almost because we went so far, right? Yeah. I, I can't describe we, it, but. We cranked that pool up to like 93 degrees <laughs> and just, and it was a cold night in LA. It was in the spring, and we just stayed in there all night. So nice. Our prosthetics needed to be wrung out. Yeah, yeah. Those oh, yeah, got a little, a little waterlogged. Works, but something should remain. It was a waterlog. <laughs> um, and just to, to uh, diverge a little bit, um, to talk about uh, Parks and Rec, um, do you feel any kind of um, uh, kind of irony or joy in the fact that you you guys are enjoying the best ratings that this that uh, the show has ever I had know. And, ru- and now it's just running out. I know. It's like, oh, great. Now we're, de- yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, finally we got a, a different night. I think we were all pleased to be moved off of Thursday, which is a really tough night. I mean, you've got football, you've got Big Bang Theory. You know, it's a tough night. Um, but, yeah, it's kind of great. It's nice. Um uh, um, yeah, I'm, I mean, whether the ratings are, are good or not, I, I'm just as thrilled and proud of the show. It's, it is nice to see that people are watching and, um, and, uh, and really loving the, the new episodes. I think this last season is, is really terrific. I'm enjoying the show, but, uh, uh, for you, Jason, um, can you talk about after having worked with Wes Anderson for several movies? Mm-hmm. Why do you think that Grand Budapest has the legs that it does, that has the acclaim that it does at this point? I think it's a great movie. I mean, not to say that the others weren't great. I think they're all great, and who knows why something connects with people? I don't know. You know, I'm always asking that question. Like, I'll hear a song that's like a number one song. Like, let's say you listen to some old like song from 
a while back and you go, would this be number one today? Yeah. You know, you always ask those like weird hypothetical questions, like why does something connect? I think it's so many things have to converge, but there's no, I think it's a great movie and I think that it's, um, it's got a lot of Wes's movies, like it's a mega, compil it's like a mega mix of all these techniques that he's kind of been working with, like stop motion and all different kinds of things. So it's very fun to watch. And um, it's an a it's an adventure story, and uh, it's so funny. I think Ray Fiennes is so great, and the whole cast. But um, so I think it's a lot of things. But I think it starts with it being a great movie. For the latest from Hitfix, visit Hitfix.com or download the new Hitfix app on your Roku device.